Alright guys, how's it going? I suppose we can consider this as a continuation of the application template videos. Now in the last video I showed you how to make your own splash screen, how to set up your own file structure, things like this, but I kind of glossed over one obvious feature and it was install the application template, the kind of traditional method. And what I mean by this is, if I go to the blender icon here on the left hand side, you can see here, install application template. Now I'm actually going to show you how to back up your own application template and we'll install it from a zip file and I want to show you the difference where it stores it in terms of location. So this is where my custom application templates are built. You can see here I've just put Blender on the desktop, it's 2.9, it goes into scripts, then start up, then app template system. And this is the one that I use for the tutorial. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to copy and paste it on the desktop. I'm going to quickly rename this and I'll just call it my underscore test app. Let's give it a name too. And I'll quickly zip it up because there's a good chance that you're going to get a zip file. Now you'll find plenty of these on Blender Artist or any kind of forum. So I'll zip this up. I'll quickly jump back into Blender. Go to the icon, install application template and there's the zip file. And all I do is install template from file. And this means you can share or you can back it up or maybe you're going to jump systems to 2.9 or whatever. It means you've always got a copy somewhere. And if I go to File, New, you can see it here. My test app, I'll actually load this up. And if I check out the splash screen, it's more custom splash screen. So that's pretty much the basics of it. Very simple stuff, to be honest. But there's one difference here. Now you can see where my custom application templates are. And it doesn't seem to store it where you would expect it to. It actually puts it in the app data folder. It's kind of strange that you can have two different locations for a template file. So just keep that in mind. So this technically goes into user, computer, app data, roaming, blender foundation, blah, 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 scripts, startup, app templates. And you can see here, my test app too. And you can always change this at any time. So if you want to change the splash screen, for example, perfectly fine. And obviously you've got the blender shortcut. You can add a quick command line and say, hey, open up a different template file. And it was just one of these kind of tips I wanted to kind of put out. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do.